everybody, I'm Nick, and in this video I'm going to introduce you to a really, really cool NuGet package that allows you to inspect your requests and responses in your ASP.NET Core applications, including traces and logging and so on, without having to install anything. You can just have this in your application as a NuGet package. It will only be available in development, so as your developers in your team or you are working will have access to this to be able to see very easily what happened and how, it will provide great visibility on a per request basis. Without any further ado, let's go straight into the video because it's really, really cool. If you like that content and you want to see more, make sure you subscribe for more training, check out my courses on domtrain.com. Okay, so let me show you what I have here. First, I'm going to show you this API. Now, this API is a weather API, but it is actually using a real open weather map API to get the real weather. So we have a request being fired to a real API, as you can see. And if I quickly just run this, just so I can show you what's going on here. If I go to Insomnia and I fire request, I'm going to get the current weather for London. This is the actual current weather. And if I say Paris, for example, over here, uh, actually over here, then as you're going to see, I'm going to get the Paris weather. And this is firing a real request to that API. Now, what I want to do is I want to be able to inspect those requests and responses, but I don't want to have to use something like aspire or bring in a full-fledged dashboard from some external tool or something or a separate project just so i can see how long requests took what's part of each request and so on and the way we can do that in ASP.NET Core is with a new package called RIN. Now, as always, this is an open source package, so I'm going to leave a link in the description. I highly recommend, if you like what you're going to see in this video, to click that link, give it a star. I think it's an excellent product, even though it's a little bit outdated, and I hope the creator sees this video and they bring it up to date with maybe a few more features. But even as it is, it is very, very helpful in my opinion. So what I'm going to do is go to NuGet and I'm going to search for RIN, R-I-N. And it's this one over here, the one with the nice color palette icon that's more of a pyramid. Now, I'll go ahead and just install that over here. And to activate it, all I have to do is the following. First thing I want to do is go above the services and say builder.logging.addRIN logger this is the specific rin logger provider that the tool needs and then we're gonna go and say builder.services.add rin and that's it just basically as any other NuGet package that has nice extension methods to do its own di registration and then over here i'm gonna say while the app is in development because i only want this to be available in development do not have this in production unless you limit the url um, i'm going to go over here at the top and say app.userin. And then after that, at the bottom, maybe here, I'm gonna say app.userin diagnostics handler. And that's that. Now, all I'm going to do is go ahead and run the application. And I'm going to just quickly fire a couple of requests. So I'm gonna say, yeah, give me the weather for Paris and give me the weather for London again. And now I'm going to go to my browser and I'm going to go to localhost and then R-I-N, RIN. And as you can see, I have my two requests here and I can just go ahead and see the requests with all the request values, the responses alongside a tree view, as you can see over here, nice and clear, the source of the request, the hex code if I need that. And then you can see status code, content type on the response and so on. And then a timeline of everything that happened in that request. So the overall request took 185 milliseconds, but then you have a couple of traces. So what happened? Oh, the trace, which is an information log in this case, is start processing request at this point. Then you can go over here, you can click on this one and see sending the request. Those are coming from the HTTP client. You can go here and see received response after 99 milliseconds, extremely useful. And then in the end, we have the request back. And then you can see the other one after it's been hot or warm. You can see that this now took 24 milliseconds and we have the information again. Same thing as before, but the request took less this time extremely useful you can say i don't want to see traces you can say i do want to see traces you can see all the traces uh, in the form of logs in these cases in that way if you want to have word drop you can if you don't want to have word drop you can everything is very very tidy and nice and all you have to do is just add a couple of lines of code now i'm going to go back over here oh and by the way this is all real time so if i go and i say get me the weather again and again and again and again and again you can see that these requests show up 
in real time. You don't have to refresh. It's really, really nice and cool. Now, that's really, really cool. However, Rain also has support for MVC and it actually brings more to the table. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the MVC project I have here. It is just an empty project. It doesn't really have anything. And I'm going to go ahead and say rain.mvc and I'm going to look for that package. I should point out, by the way, that there's a few other packages uh, for things like Log4Net, Redis, um, Entity Framework Core, uh, Magic Garden. There's a few other extensions on top of Rin if you want to capture and display more types of things. I'm just going to say MVC over here. This is the same for Razor Pages and so on. I'll go ahead, add MVC, and then I'm going to go again to the program.cs and I'm going to say first in the add controller with views, add rin MVC support. Now, on top of that, I still need the rin logger. So I'm going to say builder.logger.add rin logger. Here we go. And then at the bottom, again, only on development, I'm going to say else here. And because this is the reverse check by default over here, and I'm going to say app.use rin, I'm going to add app.use developer exceptions page over here and then i'm also going to say app dot use rain diagnostics handler and that is it so now this will only show up in development and i will also go to views and share and i'm going to go to the layout page and i'm going to add one thing i want to inject the rain helper service and over here under the styles of MVC, I'm going to say in the development environment only, please also render the RIN helper in view inspector. What is that? We're going to see in a second. And that is it. That's all the setup you need in MVC. So one thing I'm missing over here before I can actually run this is say builder.services.add RIN. I still need that, but once I have that, I can go ahead and say run the MVC project and the project will now run as you can see over here and I'll go to the browser Rin is still running and if I access the MVC project as you can see it all works however on top of having the request being captured over here for every single one of the things with timelines again everything broken down timelines and so on traces responses requests and all that as you can see over here I also have this button which allows me to see a breakdown of the processing, the transferring. I can say open in RIN and it's going to go straight in RIN for the specific request. And I can close that, go to other pages again, seven milliseconds now. And the more things you have in the view, the more things you're going to see here in a way like mini profiler works. It's really, really nice, really, really cool, really, really small and neat. It's just a minor thing that some of you might need, but I love this idea so much. I want to make a video because it can be helpful to many, many people, in my opinion. But now I want to know from you, what do you think about this? And is this something you would use? Also, are you using something similar? And if yes, what is it? Leave a comment down below and let me know. Well, that's all I had for you for this video. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, keep coding.